Many of our girls in this place are suffering due to the simple fact that we cannot afford to go to a good school. Many of our parents cannot afford to look after the family, so we get very little. We need your help. We would like to build a girls' school so that we have fighting chance and we can try to build our future. And don't forget to donate guys, I'm collecting for a girls' school in Gambia. The fatalities in the UK have become the highest in Europe. Despite this, Boris is being forced to reopen the country and even government advisors are not following the lockdown rules. Asalaamu As Alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Smile to Jannah. Amongst the hustle and the bustle of the soil, Allah has allowed a seed to flourish. And that seed is of course the call to prayer, which has been allowed in North East London. Yeah, that's right. Nine mosques that are part of the Waltham Forest Borough have been given permission to give one call of prayer per day between each of the mosques. Let's not forget that in the last month the Adhan has been played on the loudspeaker in Germany, in Canada, in the United States of America, out of all the countries, the US and of course the Quran was recited on the streets in Italy. Now there's two main points that comes to mind when I hear such inspirational and game-changing stories like this. The first actually being a dua, yeah, and that's for our elders. May Allah bless our elders who initially came to this country, persevered through the racism, through the Islamophobia, just so we may have a better and more comfortable future. And let me add a small bit of trivia as well. In 1948, according to the British Nationality Act, these people were actually invited into the country. Yeah, that's right, despite what these far-right people will have you believe, they were invited into the country to help rebuild it after the war. So we weren't called in as some sort of charity gesture, rather we came as a charity gesture. And number two, even in the bleakest of times, there is good news for those who are willing to search for it. When you change the way you look at things, the things you look at begin to change. And another point that needs to be understood is when we throw a pebble into the water, the water reacts proportionately to the amount of force that we throw it with. And we need to be more like water because it's our underreactions or overreactions that often get us in problems. I think that's why Bruce Lee said, Be water, my friend. And often it is not our fault, it's the media, yeah? It gives us constant stream of negativity and that can either cause us to do something silly and unwarranted or it can make us despondent and lazy and think, you know what, what's the point? And that then causes people to just give up and just go with the flow. And if we look at the history of the religion, numbers have seldom been on our side but victory has. Why? Because we had people of substance. A scholar gave a brilliant example, he said, in those days the mosques were unbaked, just mud and stuff, but the people that emerged from them were baked. Today the mosques are baked, yeah, and beautified and all of that, but the people that emerged from them are unbaked. Yeah, we have 1.8 billion people, but yet we're being disgraced the way we are. In those days, there were 313 companions against an army of a thousand. And that's why these brothers that have become motivated 
in this time that people are becoming demotivated. May Allah bless them for helping to revive or attempting to revive the Ummah. Because ultimately guys, the choice comes down to us. Life is the C between B and D. B being birth, D being death. And the C is choice. And that's what it comes down to in the end. MashaAllah, we're at home now, Ramadan, lockdown. It's showing that we can be more introspective. We can spend time with our family. We can wake up for the prayers. We blame circumstance when in reality, we should be blaming ourselves, yeah? It's the choice that we make, the situations that we put ourselves in. You may not be able to do something grand as getting the adhan done in your area, but you might just be able to start a blog because you might be good at writing. You might just want to start a podcast. You might just want to upload a few videos. Yeah, who knows? As long as your intention is sincere, Allah can take something so small and seemingly insignificant of yours and make it something powerful and effective. So may Allah give us the reality of what has been said. May Allah bless our community leaders who are at the forefront making such amazing inspirational changes happen. Alright guys, I'm going to leave it there. Until next time. Mm. Assalamu alaikum.